Okay, great. Now let's make a second world. So let's go over here to our mind map. Let's make a, a duplicate by pressing S on our keyboard. Then we'll make it so that when the, this restart button is actually going to be a next world button. So we'll go into here, we'll call this next world. Next world. Perfect, I made a capital E. Okay, so next world is gonna go here. And then we're not going to hook this one up to this one. We're going to say, OK, when we win another one, I'm going to hook it up to this guy. Or let's see here. Let's no, let's hook it up. Let's look at for the let's uh, hook it up to this. The same U, world UI, but the next world button, we're going to go back to world one. And when we win this, it's going to go to this UI instead. OK, perfect. This looks good, so this will go to the next world. Okay, great. Now, let's go into our main character one and let's change the name of this event here to win world one. Okay, and go in here. Okay, so we've got win world one and then we'll change this for uh, win world two. And we'll call this now, we'll call this world world two. All right, perfect. Okay, let's go into this world two. And we're going to take this main character one, we're gonna hit D on our keyboard, make a main character two. Okay, we'll go to the color, we'll make it aqua. Press okay. All right, awesome. And then we've got the floor already set up. So now let's just go ahead and let's, ex let's get rid of these walls. So I'm gonna just select the walls up here at the top, hold my keyboard button down and select them all but one, I think. Uh, oops, I accidentally did something weird. So let me select the here, hold shift down, select them all, and then delete. Okay, I just wanna hold on to one wall because I'll, I'll use that for later. And then the floor, let's see here, which floor is that? Okay, it's this one. I'm gonna delete the rest of the floor as well. And this is how I kinda like to make these games is I like to like set up some blocks around it and then I try to snake my way around the course and see if I can solve it. So let's see here, we'll go like this, something like that. Okay, cool. We'll snake around and I wanted to make it so that you can only go certain ways. Okay, I like it. All right, that works. You can, sn you can snake your way and you can make it the whole way through. Okay, that's perfect. So let's go ahead now, let's set up some walls around the perimeter. So I'm just gonna boop, 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 go around real fast. Just slam the S, A, W, S, and D. Okay. And then there we go. Now we need to get the new main character out. So we'll do main character two, bring it out here. We'll do one, 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 and then do the same scale, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Okay, great. Perfect, and then main character two, we're gonna go in here and we're gonna change the uh, win world one event to win world two. Then we'll go back to our mind map and hook up win world two. Okay, great. Then we'll go ahead and save our game. Let's, uh, let's save our game. Hit command S on your keyboard. And let's go ahead and let's, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take this last enemy, uh, this enemy that we made and we're gonna make it invisible so that we can't see it behind us anymore. Okay, great. And then main character two, let's go ahead. I'm not really sure how many health that we're gonna need. So let's start off with 38. Um, I've done this before and I think I think it was 38. So let's let's see if that works. All right, and let's press play. And let's play the game and see if, uh, see if it's working. Okay, so you're jumping and if you try to go back the other direction, you explode and it's game over. And you can probably do a longer delay so you can watch the explosion happen a little bit more. Maybe we'll do, maybe we'll do a two second delay here for the explosion on, um, yeah, let's see you here. So select these delays, do a two second explosion, okay. Press play and then if you can, if you can manage to color the entire floor, then you win. But if you try to go back, you're gonna be defeated. Or if you try to land on any square that's been colored yet, like colored previously, then it's not gonna work. Oh, I have the I have the character too too low. Oops, let's raise it up a little bit. Okay, perfect. 
press play. Okay, go around. Okay, cool, we won the first one. And then why is it falling through the second one? It's dynamic. This is floor, the floor is static. Oh, affected asset will turn off main character one. Okay, cool. And then we're gonna go into floor. I realize, oops, let's double click on floor. So I'm gonna copy all these, so command paste. Okay, great, move them here, unhook these. Okay, and we're almost done. Okay, we'll set the color to blue this time, or to aqua. And then we'll change the if, the if collide to two, main character two. And then, yeah, we're gonna be good. Okay, let's go ahead and let's check this out. I'm gonna go over here to, to the mind map so that we go straight to World War, uh, uh, or World War Two. So we go straight to World Two. Okay, great. And now we can play the game. We can try to sneak around and see if we can. Ah, I messed up already. Dang it. So that's a great example of me trying to beat the game and not being able to. All right, let's clean this up just a little bit. And then I'm going to give you this game uh, to have. And it'll, you'll, there'll be a download link in the description below so that you can, uh, you can have this game. So this looks good. I, I like that. And then I would probably uh, go over here to uh, the game over UI I'd probably lower these down just a little bit so go to the UI screens just lower them a little bit okay cool yeah game over UI I like it this UI all right perfect and we'll lower it all right that's it and then let's hook this up right here to world one uh, world one press save let's uh, press the game play the game again press the play button and okay, now we are swiping, but on a phone you'll be able to swipe and the character will move in these directions. And then you have to go around a certain direction if you wanna win. And so let's see if we can actually beat this. Let's make sure the health is set up the correct way. Okay. I like it. This is a challenge. Okay, so I need to add one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, perfect. So we'll add six to 38, which is, should be 42 or uh, 44. So we'll go to main character. So we'll add six here to 38. So that's going to be 44, 44, 44. All right, and we'll press, we'll press play one last time, beat this game all the way through, and then we'll call it an end to this tutorial. And if you want to learn how to make the, like a really cool swipe puzzle game, I also have a course that I'll, I'll do a, I'll give a link to it in the description below and I show you how to make a full, complete swipe puzzle game. And I, I think you'll really enjoy it. So let's see here, let's go around. Oh boy. I, I just went out, I did it a whole different way than I normally do. Yay, okay, cool, we made it. And then you could just make so many levels like this and you just put obstacles in different ways and, and people have to figure out the like the way to get around the maze. And then sometimes there's multiple ways to skin a cat, you know, there's multiple ways to beat the level, uh, but other times it's just one way. So anyways, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Keep an eye out uh, for more videos, more tutorials coming and be sure to check out my website, mrbuildbox.com if you wanna, uh, learn uh, any courses or follow any of my any courses. Uh, I, would, I would really appreciate it. And yeah, thank you so much, everybody.